The Rhode Island Foundation has released its seventh round of grants from the COVID-19 Response Fund. $700,000 is going to 23 organizations to help Rhode Islanders with food, rents, and other expenses. Highway to Sue supporter Alexandra Leslie has more details from one of those organizations. With more than 40 different African countries represented in Rhode Island, organization leaders and partners tell me this grant money has given their community members a voice they normally keep to themselves. We don't like hand out. We don't talk about uh, our needs as such. Julius Kolawale leads the African Alliance in Providence. He tells me this kind of pride is part of African culture. They see a lot of uh, people in our community we are not stepping forward to say, I need help. $40,000 in grant money from the COVID-19 Response Fund will help over 100 families the Alliance and its partners have identified. Chris Abulime is the pastor of King's Tabernacle Church in Johnston. He says the money has helped save lives quite literally. And she became suicidal because hope was just gone. There was nothing coming. The help has brought smile into her and we're able to help her with rental assistance and send her some coupons for food. Abelime says prior to COVID-19, places like churches or mosques helped to provide community members with resources, but the pandemic has since depleted those. And that's why it is absolutely important that organizations like the United Way and the Ryan Foundation continue to invest in grassroots communities like us to reach them because we're already doing the work. Kolawale tells me he believes the $40,000 will run out as soon as the end of July, and he plans to apply for more grant money. If you'd like to donate to the COVID-19 Response Fund, you can find the link on WPRI.com. I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.